Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 62 Double Star. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. This Oceanus Yacht 62 is currently available. This is February 2022. Starting at the bow, the Oceanus Yacht 62 has this large stainless steel bow sprit built in with a bob stay, asymmetric spinnaker attachment point up forward and this one has an ultra anchor that was upgraded beautiful stainless steel anchor and two to one halyard the boat has a large asymmetric spinnaker with a sock really beautiful sail just aft is a split bow pulpit and Facnor electric furler so we've got a genoa on this boat furling genoa going up a aluminum white painted mast with three spreaders and in mast furling mainsail the boat also has a track up on the deck on the cabin top so you can add a self-tacking jib if you'd like or a staysail and there is a stainless steel fitting in the middle of the bow for a solent jib uh, or staysail to be attached. Large horn cleats are aft on both sides all throughout the boat. There are two midships so four horn cleats on both sides. And this before we hop on the boat, look at this cabin top shape. The shear line is very tall on this boat, and you have a beautiful line here with these large cabin top windows. That looks really, really great in addition to the black uh, striping on the side with the windows that go from the forward cabin into the salon and all the way back around the transom of the boat. Really beautiful styling on the 62. Both sides of this boat have gates that fold down, so it's easy to get on board from the transom. And the Yacht 62 is famous for this large swim platform aft that folds down. With the transom up, you've got the boat name on there and that styling that wraps all the way around the transom of the boat. And then when you bring the transom down, the swim step opens up into the dinghy garage and this swim platform goes negative 15 degrees approximately underwater to create a ramp to bring the dinghy in and out of the water. Both sides of the dinghy garage are staircases that go into the cockpit with flip up helm seats. And on the starboard side is the uh, shower, which is a hot and cold shower. Aft, you can see our nav light here. And on top, this boat has the hard top enclosing the cockpit and above there's a KVH-7 at the large uh, satellite. A really nice thing about the hardtop is just forward of that there are vision windows forward so underway you can look up and see the trim of your mainsail. And the hardtop being attached to the arch, this boat also has a dodger incorporated into it which looks really really nice, provides great protection in the cockpit. Really beautifully done Dodger. The hardtop also has canvas that completely encloses it so you can roll down the panels. As you can see on the port side here these panels are down and we can roll the panels down completely closing the cockpit or we can store them up as you see here which have protecting uh, covers even when they're rolled up. Walking back towards the helm, I'll pan across the cockpit here. There's just a simple step from the helm inboard. So coming across the cockpit, really spacious twin helm setup, both with pedestals on each side. And both of these cockpit tables are electric, so you can bring them up or down. On the starboard side, we have this table up in the dining position, but you can also drop it down. And on the port side, that's what we're showing is the pads all out, which this additional pad goes on the top of the starboard table if you wanna have dual sun, uh, sun beds. But up on the companionway, there are also companionway beds. 
couple of storage compartments that lock here. So for sunblock, sunglasses, gloves, this is pretty nice. You can lock those up as well. And aft, you have a couple of lazarettes. There is a lazarette on both sides here. And then also on this boat, we have a large lazarette aft underneath this aft seat. You can either get a pop-up galley or the large lazarette. In this boat, we've chosen to do the lazarette and store a barbecue in there, which you can attach on the transom to this black ring here. So you can come down behind the boat, out of the wind, and barbecue back there. Let's look at both helm stations. Inside the port side, there's a refrigerator. Starboard side is a, a propane storage locker. Also on the starboard side, we have the electric switch for the transom to come down, as well as a water pump out, engine start and stop, and also a fitting to bring a hose into the boat so you can bypass the water pump and use fresh water constantly at the dock. Outboard of the helm is the Yanmar diesel display, digital display, the quick anchor windlass. You can put your anchor up and down right here and a BNG H5000 display. This is an electric winch button, which activates your uh, forward secondary winch or cabin top winch, which all of the lines are led aft. So this is our secondary winch where the lines come into this really nice basin and our primary winches are aft to run our Genoa or Spinnaker sheets. You can see the uh, winch buttons are right here. So the captain at the helm can really operate everything on the boat. At this uh, starboard pedestal, we have the throttle control, bow and stern thruster display, autopilot, as well as the large BNG multifunction display. A couple of switches for lighting. This switch opens and closes the hard top in the middle. And then the outer switch brings the table up and down. So you can see here, I can push the switch down and drop the table. Really, really clean system. And over on the port side, you have the same size display with optional additional throttle control and balance stern thruster control. This is really, really nice. Depending on where you're docking, you may choose to operate the boat from the port or starboard side, and this gives you the flexibility to do both. We've spec the boat with the black composite steering wheels, which are beautiful and matches all of the, the canvas, the black and white styling on the boat. The winches all have sunbrella covers. And then you also have some a, a ton of fenders on this boat, um, the fully inflated ones, and also some inflatable fenders. The upholstery is really nice in this boat. You can see there's some trim here, which also matches the styling. Antique, real teak wood in the cockpit. I like this amount of teak. It's really beautiful inside the cockpit, but then not on the deck. So really easy maintenance, not a ton of wood. All of the wood on the boat is uh, enclosed and protected. The Genoa sheets go through these Harkin leads which have the adjustable fair lead, so you can pull that lead forward and aft to fine tune your sail trim. A couple large hatches going into the uh, forward crew cabin up here, which is in this boat outfitted as a sail locker and storage garage, since this boat is uh, designed for owner operator. And then these two aft hatches here go into the forward master cabin. Up on the uh, bow is a large sun pad with a nice cover on it but this is the same matching upholstery as what we see in the cockpit and up at the master are also a couple of fusion stereo speakers so the people at the bow can have music as well and there are a couple of lights up here additionally let's pan back and look at the you can see the shape of the dodger and the canvas when it's fully enclosed Something added, which I really like here, is if you want to get a little protection from the sun, you can drop down the screen on the outside. And if you want to get some more breeze in there quickly, you can unzip the U-shaped panel and roll up uh, really quickly the side panels of this enclosure. 
really, really clean setup. The boom vang is really, really solid here too. Worm gear, really solid setup for the in-mast frilling main. Sparcraft mast, really good equipment here. Nice, solid outhaul car. The Genoa sheets go inboard through some large stainless steel leads so you can walk safely outboard. Really clean path going around the boat. Let's now walk and check out the interior. Through the companionway, you have French doors that open and a beautiful staircase coming down with handrails, stainless steel on both sides that are leather wrapped. The interior of this boat is stunning. Pan across the whole galley and salon right now. continue the tour at the nav station here which is really nicely laid out you've got a nice handhold here a swiveling captain's chair elegant ac dc panel so you've got the touchscreen shiver panel which let's see if you can see the power going into the boat for the house and the air conditioning simple to control and then you have some breakers behind this panel which is designed really really well simple to operate. Um, you also have your VHF radio, a large B&G multifunction display, a fusion stereo. We've got our nav station here set up. You can have uh, on your computer weather data or, or use this as a as a uh, office and desk or have additional systems for navigation. The boat has a ghost security system on it. You can see this panel here just above the air conditioning control for the salon area. There are lacquered doors covering the storage on the port side and starboard side. And a smart idea from the current owners is to put trays up on top so you have tons of storage which is labeled up above the galley cabinetry as well. Before we get into the galley more, point out um, this table here is electric, similar to the cockpit tables. You can bring it up into a dining configuration or have it down in, in the coffee table configuration. After this settee here, uh, outboard rather, is a pop-up TV. So there's a Bose system and a frame TV inside that pop-up. It's a really great design. It's just really user friendly for the salon area, but then also for the galley, this creates a nice support that I can lean against in this linear galley. Starting forward, there is a dishwasher, some storage underneath. Um, there are tons of cabinets above for storage, but aft of the washer and dryer is a large single basin stainless steel sink with a beautiful tap that comes up and down. There's some storage underneath. Aft is a really elegant um, stove and oven. So this is all electric. This was something upgraded after market and works out really, really well. Ocean Chef. This has multiple trays, a great oven for baking underway and some storage. This is gimbaled and also has a hood that you can open up. Aft are four doors that open up for a lot more storage in the boat. So they both have storage shelves. And the aft one we're using also as a trash bin. See storage. These are all soft clothes and then they also have locks, but also, but the leather poles are really nice as well. So you're not pulling on the lock. You're, you, there's actually a designated pole to open up the cabinetry. 
aft is a Wolf oven. This is really, really cool. Wolf gourmet oven, so for a microwave and also some storage. It's got a touch screen panel. After that is the Dometic wine fridge. Cool blue light that kicks on inside and two zones. Above, we added in a support here for the um, uh, glasses up there that you see. There's a Jura coffee maker, really, really nice. And then the refrigeration is aft. So in this boat, when we ordered it from the Beneteau factory, we, the owners had some brilliant ideas with moving the refrigeration forward, which would normally be here as standard. So we have a tall three compartment refrigerator, really nice system locks into place with these additional locks underway and then we added this handrail which is really really nice underway something really solid to hold on to as you're opening and closing the refrigeration underway but just as you're moving around the boat it matches the handrails throughout let's look at the three cabins we'll start with this aft cabin since we're here spacious bed Plenty of headroom and recessed indirect LED lighting. There's a, a great storage place aft and in this boat we added some zipper, some bins back there. Great for long-term storage. A really unique thing on the Yacht 62 is throughout the boat the outlets and thermostats are going to match the wall that they are up against. So on a darker cabinet it'll be the darker color. You've got hanging lockers and this cabin has a private head. The heads are fresh or salt water so I can press on the button to choose uh, either one to flush the toilet. And then in this we have a uh, custom from the Beneteau factory, a storage compartment and also access to the back of the refrigeration. Really nice custom design in this, this 62. Another thing that we did custom is this forward corridor, uh, adding a separate washer and dryer. This is a really great system. So the washer down below, you can use this uh, as the boat's moving. It's gonna be really, really quiet because of the style, this design of this washing machine, and also a pretty large dryer uh, considering being on a sailboat. Really nice system here that hideaway really, really nice for the galley in this corridor. A great thing about this corridor for the design of the boat is that even with the master cabin door open, you don't see directly into the master cabin. So you have kind of a false door here, which is turned 90 degrees. So going into this cabin, you just step behind the door and then you have a really large, elegant master cabin. Centerline berth and on both sides you have USB ports for charging devices. You have a separate fusion stereo up here. Air conditioning. You can see the blinds, headboard, and reading lights. Very elegant. And on the port side here you can see the thermostat and outlets matching the color of the wall that they're mounting it just looks really really clean on starboard there are multiple storage cabinets hanging lockers see this whole cabinet here is the uh, owner's storage and there were three options from the factory for this area here you could do a seat, a table, or the additional storage, which I think is the best option, giving you a tabletop here and a couple of shelves for more storage in the owner's cabin. Just above is a frame TV with some artwork on it. Really nice touch, custom in this boat. And then opposing is the master head, which again has the salt or freshwater flush. This is a really elegant head with the bowl sink, 
lots of storage, and then a separate shower that's about seven feet tall. It's a really large shower, and there is real teak wood behind, as well as real teak and holly floor. Super elegant. Around the door handles is leather, which is a really nice touch. And now let's move aft into the other guest cabin, which is port side. So the guest cabins are on either side of the dinghy garage. You can see large windows and tons of storage back there with those additional bins. Storage up top, hanging locker, and then this cabin has access into the third head that also has a separate shower. This head has two doors, so you can enter from this aft cabin or use this as the day head and enter just aft of the nav station. Last thing we'll do is take a look into the engine room. Panning inside here, the generator is aft, fire suppression up above, large seawater strainer and fuel filters. Really, really clean setup with this large Yanmar diesel engine. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the Oceanus Yacht 62 Double Star. Feel free to reach out right away for more information. I look forward to talking to you soon.